Alrighty, are we live? We are live. We're looking live. We're looking live. We feeling alive? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Welcome in, everyone, to episode. What episode is this? 39? Sure. 39 of the Mile High franchise, aka the Colorado Rockies. Feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Be nice to have you. Uh, that's about it. That's all I got. We're going to hop in tonight. We are facing, we're on the road. Facing the Cincinnati Reds. Uh, and Eric Lauer, a pitcher who is on the trading block for the Reds. They are kind of out of it at the moment. We're going to see how we do. We have uh, De La Cruz on for us. Let's hop right into this. No more mahogany here. De La Cruz looking solid. A 3 ERA, we'll take that. Just going to get better. What's up, Ep? Welcome, thanks for joining us. A great night for Good evening. On the show. It's the we are 43 and 35. Up against the and it looks like Reds. the Reds have their City Christmas Connects City. on. All right. I'm John Shambi. And singing the big bat in the lineup so far this year, Jonathan India leads the team. That's cool. I did not so tell them to wear their City Connects, but I will take it. And basically make things happen for them offensively. Just Jonathan India looking in good this year, man. 347. Woo. I think the Cincinnati City Connects were probably in my top three. He looked really good. And he's a bat that you want to stay away from if you're the pitcher. There you go, Eric Lauer on the mound for Cincy. And he is on the trade block. He is someone that I've looked at before in acquiring, but I don't think uh, I think we're way past that point. He's got to just not press and go out there and say, hey, I'm just treating this. Same with the Mariners. Yeah, they look good, too. On the road, it doesn't matter. My job is to focus on the attack hitters and just try to move Got the little snowflake icon next to his name. Find that kind of focus. We're going to see if he can get him back on the right track. To go out there and win a ball game. Righty heavy lined up tonight against the lefty. Got a nice, uh, healthy lineup. And there's it's been, a strike. It's the last broadcast since I've played. So. Called for a strike. Probably go away, but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off. I like that shade at home plate. No. <laughs> the pitch. Out of baby Mateo. Lead off knock. Or Jorge. Good old Jorge. Let's get him out of that cold streak here. Let's check out the defense for your Cincinnati Reds there, Ep. Brian Ray in left field, Richard Gonzalez in center, Austin Hendrick in right. Don't know who any of these people are. Spencer Steer playing third, Geraldo Perdomo at short, Jonathan India, Harold Ramirez. Excuse me, around the diamond, Tyler Stevenson. Find the plate, we know who that is. All for Eric Lauer. No arm in center field. Center fielder looks to be uh, very lackluster. So that means I'm sure he will be phenomenal in every way. So. Oh, Mets are playing the Rockies. I want to turn that game on real quick here. Let's see if I can. Where is the game? Oh, they're about to start. Okay. Right, so here's Ian Happ. Think about giving him a day off today. Yeah, that one really no speed. reason to. Speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. There you go, our home run. Still Glaber Torres, even though he's been hurt for a while. You're going to miss Glaber Torres. For sure. Um, seems like the offense has been okay. Mateo. Gets his lead at first with nobody out. Uh, you know, Vidal Brujan has really stepped up his game. He is easily yeah, becoming the most out, improved no player of the team right now. He's starting it for us tonight at uh, second. How's your franchise going, Ep? Step off, throw to first. They are really concerned about him. Back easily. Can I hit one, KB? Nice play by India. 
Oh, Ian Hap. Ian Hap, the double play machine. Just can't hit pitches up in the zone for some reason. That was a slick play by India. Two quick outs. Julio Ibarra digging in for the Rockies. Bar hits it hard, but once again, Whips it across. it's a right to somebody. One hit in the inning, but Just no like that, Rockies are Dunsky. No score after a half inning. Let's go bottom one. Back here at Great American Ballpark, today's starting pitcher, Alfredo we go. De La Cruz. Well, he's allowing just over they look cruise training, which is really good especially for a starter because look at that pitching good you two, three, maybe even four pitching good so fun fact so, a yeah, fun fact for you guys as I beat this we'll see if it's that way in this one. uh we actually lead like in the NL West we, we don't lead the NL West but when it comes to pitching era we are actually first uh, and that blows my mind pitch it's not by much but we're third in the west we're like i said we're kind of on our own island right now we're four games behind the padres that are in second but we have about like a 12 game lead on over fourth place so now wanted a one no eli in their lineup i don't know if he's even up Oh, no, he's not on this team, I don't think. Yeah, he's not on this team. I forgot. He's on another team, and I don't remember which team it is. Here's a 1 1. And there's a ball. Two balls, one strike. Let's see if Taylor Cruz can keep it up here at the uh, Swing and a miss. good old GABP here. Throughout history, the fastball down has been the most successful pitch. Guys can handle a little bit better these days. Richard Gonzalez. I don't know. Is this a real guy? 2-2 two, two now. Damn shot. Bruhan. Nice play. One down. One gone. Bottom half of the first. Here's the lineup for the Watching Reds. the Mets game illegally. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no. I found a streaming Tyler website, Stevenson. too. Tops on the team I'm not paying that much for blackouts. Showing off some excellent bat -to -ball ability when he digs I am not ashamed to say it. You know, that's useful if your team needs to get an inning going, get a leadoff man on. I've got the uh, Nats-Royals like game up right now. Because he's a run producer. For some reason. Drive in runs if you've got guys on base already. So he's a huge piece in this lineup. All right. So there's our buddy Harold Ramirez. It's actually a different Harold Ramirez, by the way. Harold Not our Ramirez. Harold Ramirez. One down, takes a strike. Kansas City's got their City Connect jerseys on tonight, too. We'll turn on the Rockies game here. Yeah, it, it's ridiculous, man. I'm not paying that much for blackouts. You know, not to mention that I can't, uh, you know, not to mention that I can't watch the Cubs at all for some reason. One down, base is empty. Yes. MLB Network will have my money when they get rid of blackouts. Until then, shove off. And he deals. Knocks that one away and that we'll was off. Let's do it again. Is this the game or is this now the the thing I will say is that sometimes it is hard to find the game on this website that I use, which I'm not gonna say what it is because you know. There we go. Hopefully this is the game here. I don't think they've started yet, have they? You should watch any team without blackouts. True story. Oh man, California's pretty close. Just kidding. 
gets a piece and stays alive. Bit of bet here by Harold Ramirez. I don't think this is our former Rocky from season one. Next he will pop popped. them up. Jones under it. Two down. Jones hauls it in, and there's two away. Batting third. The yeah. Tyler. Two outs, bases empty. Tyler Stevenson will hit next. If I start to see a drop in my uh, stream quality, broadcast quality, I will uh, stop watching the game for sure. So Tyler Stevenson. First on the Reds and hitting at 350. No surprise there. I'm kind of surprised that the Reds in this franchise still have Jonathan India. A uh, wind is blowing in. Okay. Because it really looks like, like I said, in this franchise, they haven't really done a lot to invest into their team. Goes up, and that's what he's been doing. It's made a big impact for him in recent games. Oh yeah, no, he's pretty good. He's a pretty underrated catcher, I think. To an old account, here it comes. Good eye right there. Definitely three and zero. Oh. The pitch. Probably walk him. Nope. Now this is in the. Out the right, Abara. There you go. The Took 14 pitches. That is that. Nice one, two, three inning. Reds down in order. Let's go to the second. Inning, no score. What you got going over the weekend, man? So you work over the weekend? Back here in Cincinnati. And now the catcher comes up to him. Kevin Parada. All right. Parada is up. Got him hitting fourth tonight. Having a career year for himself. The wind of the pitch. We're going to see what we can do against Eric Lauer. I don't swing at that. Popped up. Just swung at that, but I did. One down. And there's one away. I'm gonna be stressed out this weekend. The third baseman. It's Memorial Day weekend for us, for uh, Frito. So it's our second busiest week of the year. Strike one. We're gonna definitely try to get Nolan Jones in against more lefties. Because if we're gonna get him to hit every day, he needs to learn how to hit more against pitchers on fire. Yeah, pitchers that work side to side effectively love being on the mound with Ross calling balls and strikes. Hit a home run in the last episode off a lefty. Outer edges the strike zone. He will reward you. Hey, the Rockies have Seabold on the mound tonight. That one ran inside, almost got him. How much were you? I think Seabold's a very good long relief guy for us. Not a whole lot. I mean, there were a couple of umpires that weren't real good, but outside Maybe two and two. Good take. Fill your Mets would you just find tonight. The Cubs couldn't even come close to beating the Reds today. Jones strikes out. Yeah, the Cubs just have just looked absolutely pathetic. I feel like David Ross has already given up, which is unexcusable in a weak division like the Central. Justin Steele got hit around today because David Ross is like, hey, we should take Christopher Morrell and put him in the outfield. And uh, that did not go well. It didn't go well in Houston when he started there. It didn't go well today. He needs to stop putting Morrell in the outfield. Just stop it. Leave him at DH. Put him somewhere else. Good curveball. One and two. One and two after the swing and the miss. How come Ross always looks stressed? Because he sucks at his job. That's probably why. The lineups that he has going out are ridiculous. Like he has like today he had Mike Talkman hitting third. <laughs> On 
The ground ball, race to the bag. Now we're looking good. And that's the third out. What's up, C-Boys? How you doing, sir? But yeah, it just, uh... It, it really, like... I'm starting to get on board with the fire David Ross train because he's making the same mistakes over and over and over again. The way he's constructing the lineup doesn't make sense to me. I mean, I'm just an armchair guy, though. I'm sure there's a statistical reason why he has the lineup the way he does. But he needs to stop starting Barnhart so much. I'm sorry. Barnhart is just an automatic out every time. Jan Gomes is hitting around 300. He needs to be starting at least five days a week. Miguel Amaya is down in AAA. He had four hits today. And he's just chilling out in AAA. But forget that, right? Let's let's just keep Barnhart up there. Why not? So, Bellinger will be back soon. I'll be interested to see what happens there. Uh, what's up, Char? They keep emphasizing that Ross's uh, spot, his his hot seat, is pretty cool right now, and I'm just like, why? Liner, India stays hot. But, yeah, it's just... If it was the NL East, if the Cubs were in the NL East, I would understand why Rossi would give up a little bit. But you're getting beat by the Reds. You know, and this is not to who on any Reds fans, but your team has been very bad for so long, and you're finally starting to get better. You're finally starting to have some talent on your team that does something. And the Cubs are just like, I will get to it. Which has been the attitude since they won their title. Yeah, that's in there for Which is a shame. But well, we'll get to it. You know. But oh well. I've always been saying that I'll be happy because they got their title. And I should stick to that. Calling Dr. Love. Charm. Keith. Hello guys. Happy Friday to everybody. Why is it always catchers? I, I, I guess my theory on that is that because that they're a catcher, it would depend on how the catcher is. Just like, you would think David Ross as a leader on the field, you know, with Boston and then with Chicago, so maybe they thought he was a good fit. I don't know. I, I was, I'll admit I was on that train. I was like, yeah, David Ross, this ought to be good. He should know what he's doing. He knows about team chemistry. He knows how to keep a team going in a general direction, but... Man, he's just made this team do a whole bunch of nothing, right? A whole bunch of nothing. And I hate to say it, but I mean, that's just that's just the way I see it. You got the Pirates and Reds beating you. The Cardinals are going to get hot. It's only a matter of time before they just sweep in and win the division. Because everyone just doesn't know how to win in the Central. Nobody. Nobody knows how to win in the Central. But what's up, Colby? Sell six and seven. <laughs> you are set on that, man. I hope you're betting some money on that. Unless you're underage, don't bet. Uh, who do I care? Almost four a.m. Charm, you need to go to bed, man. Like I don't know what you need to do, but like you need to go to Spotify and you need to download. Wow, courtesy call. You need to go to Spotify and go to like a sleep playlist. Vanessa uses one where it's like a thunderstorm, rain, like rain from a thunderstorm hitting a tin roof, and that puts us both to sleep like instantly. It's so relaxing. I know you probably don't have a lot of comfort where you're at right now, but you can do anything you can to help yourself. I'll go to bed for you, Charm. <laughs> Whoa. Don't take them seven. What does everybody else think? I, I don't follow. I don't follow basketball, so I couldn't. I don't have a dog in this fight. That's, ripped, and this one That's a fair ball, huh? And that rolls into the corner. Lead runner holds it third. Ooh, I tried to catch him going around second, third there. 
All right, Cam Collar, second and third, one down. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't you mean Saturday? Oh, yeah, that's right. You're way ahead. Yeah, you're Saturday. Yeah, listen listen to the sleep playlist or listen to my old broadcast. I'll put you to sleep. Getting ready to hit. Upstate. And Boog, I'd say he's due. Not even slept yet. Charm, you need to find something. Take you... I mean, well, I doubt you could find it where you're at, but... You need a... Man, sleep gummies are, are pretty legit. They are so nice. We use the... Uh, what's that called? Ollie? Ollie sleep gummies? When we have trouble sleeping? Kicks and deals. That misses Those things work great. One ball, one strike. India, the runner at third. Called your Witty. Second with one down. Even Witty? I was looking forward for you going live tonight, but I understand. You you said you had to delay. How you doing, man? How's life? He's got a base open, so the pressure to come in and really attack this hitter, not as great as it would be if the bags were sacked. <laughs> no, you can do what you want, man. You're half a cunt. You're half a world away. And a pitch. And that's in there at the knees. The job's pretty important. One of my favorites. Uh oh. I don't know if you're being sarcastic or not. <laughs> Is it Cody? Is it Cody? Certainly a strikeout situation right there. The infield playing back, and this pitcher has to step up and get the swing and miss. Really nice job of attacking the hitter at the plate. Pretty big two out of bat coming up now. Hey, I understand that, Woody, man. I'm about to be real sleepy this weekend. Real sleepy. I wouldn't be surprised if I go live tomorrow night, and I'm just like, hey, guys, uh... <laughs> How you doing? Just, you guys want a 12 hour sleep stream. I got you covered. Pretty sure YouTube would ban me. Oh, you're doing. Oh, LA Knight? Dude, I hear he's going to get a push, and I'm so excited for it. You got me on it. You got me on board with LA Knight. I want that man to highlight something. Two outs. You can't have an LA WrestleMania without LA Knight. Yeah. He's not going to get mad at me for doing that, is he? <laughs> oh, please beat the Reds. Well, we'll see. The pitch. We'll see. Get a little frustrated with the strike zone. Des, you want to take a nap, dude? You've been pumping out content like crazy. You need to not tone it back, but I hope you're getting rest. Hello, uh, let's do it again. Yeah, just wake up. Are we in extras? <laughs> the one, two. Goes down looking. Out a baby. Way to get out of it. De La Cruz, man. We play too full. He wasn't going to do that last year. He, who, what kind of face was that? Did you guys see that? What was that face? All right. Nothing, nothing after two reds squander an opportunity. Be surprised if he wins money in the back. I hope he does. I hope he does. And welcome back. And now it's the switch hitting second. I hope he does. Vidal Bruhan. Vidal Bruhan. Lauer back to work. All right, so most improved player at the at the plate right now. 
over the last Fidel Brujan. Hitting 320, getting more regular starts since the injury of Glaber Torres. Fortunately, he's going to ground out here. Good pick. He is retired. Man, Eric Lauer's doing exactly what he needs to do. He's getting ground balls. Here's Chris Bryant now. Bryant goes six feet five inches, 230 pounds, and he's a former rookie of the year. I can't get anybody out. In there, and it's Owen Wad. Man. I still have Chris Bryant on the trade block. I don't think anyone's going to trade for him, though. Not with his contract. $25 million for three more seasons. What a play by fam out there. Baby KB. Did a one-out knock? Maybe birds are real. He was all over that one. Once you get the ball by the pitcher... Let him become Jake Arrieta 2.0. Season 3, uh, 2020. Yeah, we're in 2025. So yeah, Season 3 is where we're at. I had to think about this for a second. We're actually above 500 and we're here in June. We will uh, we'll take that as progress. Sanchez in his fifth season, hitting ninth in today's lineup. And he was born in the Dominican Republic. I got another one for you, Charm. Jordan Lyles for the for the Royals. I don't think he could strike out for Alonzo. I should have absolutely swung at that. Where do you even begin with the talent we've seen from the Dominican Republic? Bauer is carving me up, man. Poppy, Pedro, the list goes on and on. Sanchez strikes out. Hey, he is just free falling. Not like the song. Sanchez is just absolutely free falling right now. He hasn't been doing well against righties. He hasn't been doing well against lefties. Defense is good. Just like that. We got two down. Back top line up we go in Mateo. <laughs> I knew somebody would drunkenly put that in chat. Yes, Charm. I agree 1,000% um, with what that person says. You're absolutely being too hard on yourself. I always, uh, I told Vanessa at, at the time of great trauma, it's okay to use your ship to help other people, but you can't do it if your ship is not floating itself, you know? I come it. Two and two. Worry about your ship first, and then you can help. That's down and in. Also, some people can't be helped. That's that's just a sad fact of life. It's really hard to help people, some people, when they don't want to help themselves. Mateo will fly out. Boy, we are ice cold, baby. I'm a bad boy. <laughs> You had one beer at dinner? All right, all right. At least you're honest with me. With your job, I don't blame you for drinking, my guy. Everyone in here has a tougher job than I do, so. That's why I can sleep four hours a night and still be relatively functional. Pitch in for a one. And it's one, and one Does Roman Reigns leave with the tag title? No. It, uh, man, I hope not. If he does, then they need to make a storyline of the Usos. 
But the Usos are totally going to turn on him, right? Like, it's just a matter of time. Outside. I'm just very interested to see how they do it. On the edge of the plate with the spin, you know it's going to finish well off the plate. My message to everyone tonight, since we've we've had some TED Talks over the last few episodes, here's my message of the night. Know your worth. And I mean that respectfully. Know your worth because everyone else is going to have a different value to you. But the only one that matters is yours. Improve your worth. And I'm not talking about money. I'm talking about character. There's going to be people that criticize you no matter what you do, no matter how you do things. Why it doesn't matter. And the sooner you learn how to cut out other people's crap, the better that you can build within yourself. Right? You can build your character up. I'm not good at this anymore, but I'm trying. You could criticize the way I said that line. Richard Gonzalez grounded out his first time. And I know it's it's easier for some people than others to, to do that. The pitch. Yeah, it works. It's Tuesday. Lazy bum. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Here it comes. Totally air, messed that pitch field. up. Hat moving under it. Love that one. Two down. He makes the catch, and there's two down. Now so how's the five guys? Hey now. What's up with everyone drinking? What are you guys doing? Have yourself a nice soda. I'm just. You know. I'm not an alcoholic, or I don't. Let me rephrase that. I don't drink alcohol. But I do gotta ask, has anyone tried that, um, what's it called, the the Mountain Dew Hard, whatever it's called, like it's got the Baja Blast and the, I think it's the Code Red. In there Have you guys seen that? I was thinking about trying that, but I'm not, I'm just not an alcohol person. I've got such a weak stomach and I think soda alone will kill me at one point. Ooh. In there for a Percy strike call. at the bottom of the zone. Quickly into an 0-2 count. Both Not values like in the name. zone. I think you set your sights a little bit higher because you'll have a tendency to chase if you look down <laughs> in that area. Got you crying in the club, Des. You out partying and you you in here? You're not partying. You guys are partying. Come on now. Come on now. It's a good take. You think you're getting a dance out of me? You're wrong. You are wrong. And a pitch. And that one a little bit high. Fireball and rum chata. Part of that. The carbonation is nasty. Okay, I got you. I kind of wish for my health reasons I could kick the habit on drinking soda, but. The why to kick the pitch. Well, De La Cruz looking good, man. Good we need to get a run, though. One, two, three. Nothing across here. This even half. game right now. Three innings complete. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Out of the fourth. And now, Ian Hat. The left fielder. You know, like the Baja Blast? How does it taste? Like, how does that. That Baja Blast alcohol mix taste. Because I've never tried it. I've been curious, but I just can't. I just, I don't know. I just haven't really thought about trying it, you know? A Warhead's drink. Eesh. The wine of the pitch. Holy diabetes, Batman. Way high. All these Rockies, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. So many of their outs have come from weak contact on pitches they're chasing mm. outside of the strike zone. You can't do much. Are we chasing? Okay, we are chasing a lot. I got you. I got you. 
Eric Lauer is looking good, though. Oops. Cut on and miss. One and two. And as a pitcher, when the hitters are swinging at everything, you feel no need to challenge inside the zone. You just keep ah. and expanding that strike zone and beyond. Ian, I gotta find your swing, man. Stevenson whips it to first. That's the first out in the top of the four. Absent, it's illegal to sell in the States because it's it has potting seed in it and it tastes like black licorice. Ugh. So digging in, Julio. But one can full of that 30 minutes later you won't feel anything below your waist I don't know why I would I'll be honest with you I don't know why I would want that <laughs> I kind of like to feel things below my waist especially when somebody else wants to feel things below my waist and of course I'm talking about a foot massage you guys get your heads out of the gutter good lord I'm getting a foot massage. I want to feel it. And here's the catcher, Kevin Parada. Hit it well, but fly it out to the deepest part of the outfield his first time. Oh, what a play by Alonzo. That was, wow, that was nice. There's a drink that mimics casterization. Up the middle. All right. There's a two out hit by Parada. We'll take that. And he's on it first. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just got someone to work on those feet, dude. They need a lot of work. <laughs> they need a lot of work. My feet wouldn't my feet wouldn't pass an OnlyFans test. He was a strikeout victim his first time. And that one just missed off the outside edge. Makes you hallucinate. That's insane. Popped in the air. Left field. Boy, we are just doing a whole bunch of nothing against Lauer, man. We are starting to play down to our competition again. Still nothing, nothing. I don't like when it's the offense can't get nothing this late in the game. Big money, Pete. I thought it was big meat. Pete. Great American ballpark. Bottom floor. Here's the catcher, Tyler Stevenson. Well, Mets gonna lose. Uh oh. I don't know where you're at in your uh, broadcast the there. Yep. He's been pitching well, but Nolan Jones. Oh, he lined out. The second time through the order. We'll know if huh? he's got really good stuff in this one or not. You got a cat full? <laughs> oh, cat full. I don't know what a cat full would be like. Andy Whiskers, Lillian. come here. Meow. And he grounds one to the right side. Ruhan to first in time. Lead off hitter retired in the fourth. Yeah, don't don't mess around with customs over there. Jonathan India, the next to hit for the Reds. Beautiful swing in his last at bat, opposite field knock. Are you kidding? Pete Alonzo's hitting 239 now. He must be doing something, right? What was he hitting? 220 a couple weeks ago? Don't pick on you, it's 4 a.m. Well, go to bed. Find a way to get to bed. You have more... You have such powerful technology in the palm of your hand. Line drive. That's a base hit out of the left center field. Maybe halfway to cut that off. We'll hold him to a single. It's India's two for two tonight. Another multi-hit game for him. He's been really hot lately. That pretty much split the zone down the middle. Anybody got any tips on how to get India out? Obviously, I'm not doing it. Hit and run, huh? I can see that. It's illegal. It's nine country. Let's 
Oh, Bouchard keeping him close. Misses inside, and one one. I don't know, man. I'm just on my eyes are starting to be peeled for Baja Blast. It is near Baja Blast season. That's a foul ball. Is Steer a pull hitter? I guess I'll never know. My team is so about. Come on, man. That's not where I wanted that. Who is leading the league in strikeouts right now? You think it would be Javi Baez? And a pitch. Tech swing. Come on, ring him up. And he held back, according to Dave Lawrence. K. Hernandez, huh? That's surprising to me. Here's the 2 2. Double play ball. The throw to second, and that's two. Yes. Rally Cat likes it. Rally Cat. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. Hello, Rally Kitty. Still nothing, man. This game is boring. You guys are keeping it entertaining. Thank you. <laughs> Back here in Cincinnati. Top five, John Shabby with Chris Singleton. Oh, Tay Oscar Hernandez. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Matt Olson has 70. At least Olsen's doing some damage, right? Here comes a pitch. And he was Dude, I was betting on a fastball there. There's our fastball. Line drive, base hit down the line. Look at Bouchard hitting. Now he'll turn for second. You better hurry up and slide, buddy. And that's a Once again, hitting the ball over 100 miles an hour. Bouchard really knows how to hit the ball. He'll take about Kellenic's success. success. Ah. I like it for my fantasy team. <laughs> The pitch. Like I said, I'm facing Amish this week and I'm losing. But I'm doing everything I can to stay in the fight. Right, RBI opportunity here, by the way. For Bruhan. Hasn't done very well. With runners in scoring position. Oh, so, not great. Yeah, 33 clutch. That's unfortunate. Ooh, Schwarber's hitting 169. I can gum it. Ah, uh, I probably wouldn't have done much of that anyway. Oh, one down. Oh, Alvarez got plunked. Yes, Seaball totally meant to hit you. That one misses, and that is ball one. One out. Ooh, right on the right on the ad patch. You give up, Jose? Once again. Yeah, but why would I do that? I have a third baseman and uh, 
Nolan Arenado, who's striking out a lot more. Baby KB, 3-1. and one. Ooh, Sanchez is on deck. That's not good. Oh, my God. Next pitch has popped up. How long for the days that we could hit a fastball? Oh, I know. He used to have Kellenic. Alright, two down. It's up to Sanchez. That one misses. Ball one. We're going to do a whole bunch of nothing. What a shot. Makes the catch, and that's the inning. Halfway through this one. Still one of those games right now, man. We just can't find our swing. Lonzo has 45 strikeouts. That's pretty good, then. Welcome back. We head to the bottom of the fifth. And now the DH, Cam Collier. Nemo's walked again. Uh, I think I think Luis Arise. Uh, I was looking at his stats. He has like a hundred and. The pitch. Hold on, let me see if I can find his stats that's real quick. Because he's on the fantasy ball. team. One second here. Well above league average. So Arise. Well up into this point. So he's got a hundred and seventy at bats going into tonight's game. He has struck out nine times. <laughs> nine times. Left hand hitter waits. Ball one. I'm so impressed by that. Just lacking discipline at the plate in this ball game. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone, and those chases that are turning into a bunch of outs. Can they turn that around and stay within the zone? We'll see, but I think they have to. All our fouls that off one too. Yeah, he's in 371, man. Like, he's got one hit tonight. Oh, he's got two RBIs for me. That's awesome. I haven't even checked in with my fantasy team yet. So. Dominic Smith. What's Nolan doing? Is he doing anything? Got an RBI. Okay. You know, that's what I was going to say, Keith. But it seems like very extreme to say that, but. Left-hand batter waits. Swing you have to admit, like, out front for you have to admit, plate discipline-wise, Luis Arise has got to be the best hitter in baseball, right? When it comes to plate discipline and at bats. Number 36, the next to hit for the Reds, went down on strikes his first time through. We have got a bright future here in Colorado, man. Radio de la Cruz. Two complete games on the year. Both of them were shutouts. Well, fun fact for y'all tonight. As a matter of fact, his last start was a complete game shutout. And he deals. That one to first. Bouchard. Two down. By the way, before the end of the season, we will play against the Dodgers just to see where our litmus test is here. I think the Dodgers have the second best record in baseball right now in this franchise. So. I like Louis Arise, man. Would you call him underrated? Like, would you guys say, would you guys think he's underrated? So far, sometimes guys cower coming into a ballpark like this, but he is attacked hitters. Pitching on the road like this is very impressive. This has been a treat to watch. Good slider, one-on-one. 
Because I, I would say he's underrated. I don't think he's talked about a lot. Have that bite at the end, and it stays out over the plate. It can get hit a long way. But that was a good one right there. Dodgers are in a down year. Dodgers need to chill, man. Holy crap. They've got so many arms in their bullpen in this franchise that they have Bruce Dark Gratterall on the trade block and we got JP Fireheisen from them on waivers. Which, he's only pitched three innings. But he's done pretty well. Of course, we had the DFA... Uh, Dominic Leone, who had a, over a 10 ERA. Just wasn't working out. The wind of the pitch. My God. Swing and a ball popped up. That one Wouldn't be the show if it wasn't for a blue pit. And that keeps the inning alive. There's two out and up. He went up there and got it with two strikes. I'm not gonna leave. He's underappreciated. That's probably a better way to put it. He was in a location where he could get those arms extended that he loves to do. So nice job right there, coming back in that at bat. Runner at first with two away, and now the right fielder Austin Hendrick. 0 for one. He struck out swinging last time. I know, right? I wonder if the Marlins would ever think about trading him. Like, what kind of prospect haul for Luis Arise do you think? You know, given how unique he is when it comes to his hitting. What kind of prospect haul do you think they would get? On, 96. Velocity's still there. 66 pitches in here. Perdomo leads off first with two down to the inning. That's true. Yeah, I'm just saying, like, if... Like, who's a, what's a team that could use a second baseman right now? The pitch. Or, I guess, a utility infielder, right? Because he can play third. I believe he can play third, right? He can play first, second, and third? Is that right? The Dodgers, could you, dude? Did you guys hear about the rumors? Like, of course, it's probably nothing, but like, and now it's one and two. Uh, gets a piece there. We'll people are that. thinking that Tim Anderson could go to the Dodgers by the trade deadline. Just didn't locate it very well. What if that was a thing? What if Tim Anderson went to the Dodgers? Misses off the play, and the count is even two and two. Play anywhere except center and catcher. It seems like a good fit, doesn't it? Nemo got hit in the buttocks. How did you get a piece of that? They're starting to catch up to that fastball now. The Angels are out of it. They'll trade Otani. I mean, that would be such a hard pill to swallow. Trade him to the A's. Richard Gonzalez up next for the Reds. Ninth pitch of the at bat do next. Full count. Swing and a miss. A little bit of help there and five Red solid frames, man, for Alfredo De La Cruz. I don't know how many strikeouts that is, but he is looking good. We need to get him a run or something. Trade him to the Royals. Oh, God. This seems to be some talking bean town that he can go to Boston. But 
Lauer back to work. I'm like you guys. I don't think that'll happen. He wants to stay on the West Coast. And you played behind guys, and they loved having your speed out there defensively. One of the things that we talk about is how much pitchers enjoy having those elite defenders behind Hey, yo, right and center. That That's going to be here. caught. Gonzalez pulls it in on the run. <sighs> I would make the joke about the air, the ace known as Eric Lauer, but I believe Eric Lauer is their ace so in this in franchise. The half daddy. How often has Otani stayed in L.A.? He's still in L.A. in my franchise. He's actually, uh, he got an extension for him here. A baby Ian. There's a hit for you, finally. About time. But then again, the Angels are Julio obliterating Ibarra the West right now in this in this game. Ibarra struggling on the road this season, better results at home. Who take their top five to eight prospect? First All right, Ibarra. Look at that, Ibarra in the All Star race right now. We've got to have some people representing us in the All-Star game this year. Working on the edges and changing speeds. Just a difficult one. You tip your cap. That ball hit hard. Left field. Looking up. Take a good look. You won't see it for long. Abara. Going yard. Finally puts the Rockies on the board. Julio. You guys voted on it. The guy that's going to impress the most this year. 2 nothing Rockies off of that shot. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly I just got out too. 371. Challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He that would have been what? Four seats up at Yankees? Uh, Yankee Stadium? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Kevin Parada digging oh, baby. into the Rockies. One for two. Dark Horse Stevie to get in San Francisco. Can you imagine? Let's let's entertain that idea for a second. If the Giants, they've got an okay, they've got an okay hitting group forming over there in San Francisco. Can you imagine if they had Shohei Otani and Logan Webb? Uh, and they got that other pitcher that they're developing too. I can't remember his name. But that's a that's a really good one too, right? Appears to be getting loose. Tyler getting loose as well. The Reds are cranking it up in the bullpen. Still only one out here in the inning. Cuts and misses. It's a Rada strikes out on three pitches. Oh, that's pretty much the dream two-strike curveball if you're the pitcher. Hard downward break at the very end that just dips below the swing path. And they yeah, here, go to the gym, get a workout in. All right, Charm, go to bed. Go get you a workout and go to bed. Have a good show tonight, man. Jones in the box here lets that one go for a ball. Baby Nolan. Oh, Jones with a knock. This is his first hit of the game. I'm sure he feels really good about that one. Smash that one through the infield. It would be so nice to see him go to the Giants. I don't think he would go to the Padres. That does have to. That does have to scare you, though, right? If he went to the Padres. Jones off of first with two away. Uh, am I going to watch it? Is it uh, is it tomorrow? Next one is well, your time today. And now it's even one and one. Kicks and deals. That one fouled off. I, I think uh, I'm going to try to watch it, absolutely. I think I'll be at work when it starts. It's at 1 o'clock, but I'm going to try to watch it. Kicks and fires. God dang it. 
This one kicks away a little as he can't squeeze it. Strike out. That's all right. Julio gives us the lead. Do nothing, Rockies. <laughs> What's up, Patriots? Oh, trust me. We're not lead. We're not safe. This lead is not safe. Well, these fans definitely want to get involved in the game. All it's going to take is to get the leadoff man or even a base runner. Say he likes pinstripes. Ugh. Nice Why would you like pinstripes? Got some runs across. This is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown. Why would you like pinstripes? Do not pay attention to my jerseys. You just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. I'm just kidding. You do got to worry though, right? The pitch. Popped him up. Popped up to the Too often we've seen players, round. you know, granted whether they've been on a competitive team or a struggling team, they do very well there, and then they get traded to another team, and then they just absolutely fall off a map, you know? Or they don't become as dominant. I wonder if that would be Otani's case, you know, whichever team he goes to, no matter what team. Baby. Well, the crew's looking good. Command's slipping a little bit, but still looking good. Get those guys back into the dugout so those bats can stay hot. <laughs> Root for him. You guys should know better that this lead is not safe. You know better than that. And that's ball one. What's our bullpen even looking like? Oh, we are. Oh yeah, we had an off day, so everyone should be ready to go. Okay, so he's pitched two innings, but Farhazen has been a very solid. Uh, oh, that went off one too. I still, I still haven't been able to find a proper trade piece right now. Um, we may actually be pretty quiet at the deadline. And now the lefty. And now two and two. Low. Oh, he might have to look for a different put away pitch right here, too, too. He's already seen I mean, a couple of times in this at bat, so it's a really awkward thing to think about because we have Jesus Sanchez who's doing enough. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. And then his backup is Brett Phillips. We could improve in center field, but I'm not willing to go out and get Brian Reynolds. He's on the trade block, but I'm not really... I'm not really willing to go out and get Brian Reynolds. A, because he's going to be 31. And B, he's playing for the Pirates, who are actually winning the Central right now in the franchise. So it doesn't make sense for A, for him to be on the trade block. But it really doesn't make sense for me to go get him. So. That's a really good take right there. Slider down and in. Very difficult to get on the same plane and do anything with. How sure is doing? Looks like he's doing fine. Um, his breaking pitches look real good. He does look like he's kind of laboring a little bit, though. I mean, like... Uh, not laboring as in he's struggling. Pitch All right, three now. But I mean laboring as in he is. I mean laboring as in he's uh, really breathing heavy, like just you know. But he looks fine. There's a three count. count. Courtesy call. This is probably him being old. Yeah, maybe. Ellie De La Cruz bump for the win. I saw that in the last episode. Oh, that was so good. I 
full count. We're back in it. Ellie got that swag to him. I'm too old to say that, but I'm going to say it anyway. You got Verlander pitching tomorrow. Two outs. All right, two out walk. Able to take the walk. We have Jonathan India coming up. I think we're going to pull De La Cruz here. I think we're going to probably pull him. Jonathan India, the next to hit for the Reds. We'll have a mound visit. Now time is called here. Pitching coach on 86 pitches. India's had two hard hits off of him. He's the tying run. I think it's best that we pull De La Cruz here and get a right in. I have more swag than... Oh, come on. I have no swag at all. You're too kind, but I have no swag at all. Hey, go man. All right, let's go to the pin. De La Cruz, very good, sir. You continue to impress. You continue to impress, and you are just going to get better. So five and two-thirds for him. I don't know how many people he struck out. Maybe six. So the Rockies turn the ball over to a new arm. Miguel Castro. These are the spots relievers really make a name for themselves. He can do it. Take. I'm sorry, man. Jonathan India has just seen him too well. Same time, there's a reason I'm going to bring in Castro situation. and trust him. See if we can... Uh... If it was anyone else but Jonathan India, I probably would have left him in. But India has really been seeing the ball well today. Uh, let's see here. What's his... Whoops. Okay, so he definitely has a lot more power versus righties, but I'm willing to take the risk with the lower contact. It's probably going to be a mistake, but you can make an argument for whichever. <sighs> That's not a good start. Don't hang that. Oh, and one. That was a good play by Trejo. <laughs> dripping in swag. Dude, I'm I'm too I'm in like border man, borderline old man category. I can't say cool words. I can't say words like mid. <laughs> I joked about it with Mike on Twitter. It's like, man, he used to be a mid guy. Now he's like above mid. <laughs> uh I'm not funny. All right, 0 and 2. Let's see if we can get him. Righty delivers. Not close with that one. Now 1 and 2. Nothing. 1 and 2. And the right hander deals. A baby Castro. It's India swinging. So one left for Cincinnati. And they're down. Comes in and does the job. Rockies. Still leading two to nothing after six. That was a rare swing and miss by India tonight. I don't think he's chased anything out of the zone. New pitcher for the Reds, Justin Dunn. Speaking of which, Justin Dunn. Another one of State's favorites. And that might not be a factor at all. Coming in from the pin. Good one at Coors, yeah. And one hit and two hits. Reverse. <laughs> All right, so here comes Bruhan. He's up for two tonight, man. He's had a quiet night. We face Justin Dunn. Check out Justin Dunn. 29 years old, 71 overall. Pitcher, 5-3 and three on the year. ERA is really high. Got a bit of a struggle bus. Oh, great, but he's got a slurve, so I'm going to swing and miss a lot. I can see why he's in the bullpen. Yeah, that's slurve, two now. Outside. <laughs> They're copying. Yeah. 
They're going to use your tactics to come back and beat me. That's what they're going to do. Hopefully the bullpen can hold. That would be nice. Swing at a ball popped up. Perdomo settles underneath it. You can't be doing that, man. You you've got to stop. The game's got to stop doing that. We've got to stop doing that, man. You got to do something with that. All right. Well, we got two runs. Really? Stevenson. Just throw the pitches up. My team can't handle it. Just throw them up. We can't handle it, man. At all. Period. Next to hit for the Rockies, Jesus Sanchez. Just can't do it. Can't do it. There's Sanchez. He's over two tonight. Strike out and a fly out. All one. All right, we'll take it. Five thirty-five is not that high. Hmm. I guess compared to a ten ERA, it's not. Yeah, I guess he has improved. That's another way to look at it. Two down, nobody on, and it's fouled away. He's gonna dominate me, though. I'll tell you that. And the righty deals. Ah. Oh, that's going to go out of play. Okay. What's up, Amish? Our radio play-by-play? -play? Oh, no. Oh, God. I was not ready for this. All right. Let's see what we can do here. Sanchez slides that through the right side. There's his first hit of the game. Two down here in the seventh inning. We go back to the top of the lineup and Jorge Mateo, who's got a hit tonight. To feel just now joining us welcome in to the mile high franchise i am just mr love nice to have you nice to have your peepers here or your ears that's the only two body parts i will accept for just joining us we are up two to nothing off of a julio abara two run shot and that's been pretty much it that's mateo up takes a pitch one and oh How's that? Is that a good start? Am I doing good? You guys proud of me? De La Cruz and Eric Lauer have really matched each other pitch for pitch tonight. Lauer pretty much only made one mistake. We were able to... We were able to uh, take advantage of that. As Mateo getting ahead 3-0 and with two down, Ian Happ is on deck. So you're gonna get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. See what we can do here. Next 92, Mateo fouling it off once again. That pitch up in the zone. We just haven't done a lot with that tonight. Seems like everyone's having that struggle. And a 3-1 on the way. Good pitch. Taking for a strike. Full count. Mateo stings that to right field, and that will be over the head of the right fielder. We are going to hold Sanchez at third. Second and third, two down. There's a double for Jorge Mateo. Hit number two on the night. As he finally connects, it doesn't hit a glove. RBI opportunity for the boss. And he's going to get intentionally walked here. Why is Hunter Green asking us to get walked? Alright, so now the bases are loaded. Two down here in the seventh. And, of course, Julio Obara is up. Last time he was up, he did this. Two-run shot. It was a wall scraper. 371 feet. But that's been the difference so far. Let's see how he does against a righty. He's one for three tonight. 
What's up, Caleb? Should have started the runners. Oh yeah, no, I, I should have. You, you're probably right. Good pitch. I won one. Barra has struggled with the runners in scoring position. Three game series. So, so let me make sure I have this idea, this concept idea right. So, are we gonna do AI versus AI, and me and State commentate the game? Here comes the one. And ball one. The guy at the plate could recognize slider out of. Do I still miss Heidi? I miss her jinxing. In terms of depth and perception, he knew right away it was an off-speed pitch. And a one-one. Jam shot, center field. That looks like it will be caught. And Dunn gets out of the inning. Bar just flies out to center. 2 nothing Rockies as we go to the bottom of the seventh. Here in Cincinnati. I would love to do commentary with, uh, with State. Amish and I did that a long time ago with uh, some created teams. That was... That was a... Uh, Fun thing to do. And a pitch. So we're gonna leave Castro out there here for the seventh. Spencer Steer up. He's over two. Go up there and relax. That's the only way you're gonna be able to put runs up on the board. Yeah, we did. Uh, we did that created game with his lineup and my lineup, and then we did uh, bot ball for a little bit. That was fun. Uh, let's see. We're in the seventh. Let's get some people stretching and tossing here. Yeah, that was fun. And here it comes. And a foul ball. Castro quickly ahead of Steer. Oh, and two. Yeah, Bod Ball was a lot of fun. Uh, I know they're still, I think they're still going, but. At the belt and fires. Going to count one and two. I haven't heard a lot of people talk about it. Pitch. Oh man, I couldn't I couldn't play against anybody. State could close his eyes and kill me. <laughs> just just throw me change up, State. I can't do it. Comes a two two. Woo! Swings and Castro's got that sinker working. He strikes out Spencer Steer on a ninety six mile per hour sinker. Good stuff. Yeah, it just does so much to change right the over it. of an important inning like this. When you got the leadoff hitter so critical in setting the table when you got a tight game like this. So I don't remember who that guy was that uh, he called a lot of bot ball games. Here is and he was probably one of the best I've ever heard. Call a virtual baseball game. First offering I'm not talking about Justin either. But. Here is Cam Collier. Collier. One for two tonight. Right-handed reliever. He's going to reach out and ground out. Bruhan over to first. Two outs here in the seventh inning. Appreciate you guys hanging out on a Friday night here with some Mile High franchise. Good to have you. Appreciate all of you guys. Thank you very much once again. Whether you're having a good time or not having a good time. Thanks for being here. Rally Cat, thanks you. Rally Cat. Rally Cat. Rally Cat. <laughs> Hi, Rally Cat. I need to keep treats in here for you. I don't, but I need to. All right. Two quick outs here for Brian Ray. I don't know who this cat is. I don't know if he's a real player or not. It sounds like a fake player, but I don't know. Nemo a triple. I just saw that. Nemo's been on base three times tonight. This Round ball. Third. Nolan Jones. I believe that's his first play of the night, isn't it? The first. That's, the that's our first. Reds that's the Reds' first ground out to third base tonight. Here, two nothing. Nolan Jones finally gets some action. Reds retired one, two, three, seven innings in the books here in Cincinnati. Two nothing Rockies. 
New inning getting started. And here's the catcher, Kevin Parada. Kevin Parada. I retired Dunn's number. Oh, Riley Cat, what are you doing? You can't be up here. You can't be up here. No. You're going to hit a button. Ugh. You stay down there. You're going to hit a button. The right hander back to work. Whew. Now one miss. I will pet you. But Kevin Prada leading off here in the eighth inning. He is one for three. Had him batting fourth. I still don't know where I want to put him in the lineup. But... It's softly on the Hitting over 300, so... He grabs it He's got to bat somewhere in the top five. It's not going to be leadoff, I'll tell you that. 1-1 one, one now. There's Rally Cat. Shot. My guy. Stay down. It's Reaches out. Ground ball to third base. Steer. Steer. Oh, nice so play. Just, just gets Parada one down here in the eighth the inning. Man is out in the eighth. Next for Colorado. Mm, good rally cat. Nolan. Next for Colorado. Nolan Jones. Here's Nolan. Jones, that is. Let's see, what do we got here? Perdomo. Looks like a righty would be the way to go here. We're going to get fire hazard ready to go. Nolan Jones went for three tonight. He just continues to get uh, slowly better. Pitch and he just slowly better. Ryan McMahon, his, uh, ever since moving him to the bench... He has gone from a 225 average to going into this game 280, I believe, is what Ryan McMahon is hitting now. So he's actually gotten better as a bench guy. And he deals. Lifted in the air, right center field. Cat, you are getting on my nerves. Makes a nice running catch. I need you down here. You are going to step on a button, and you are going to make me upset. Stay. Sean Bouchard. All right. Sorry for the cat interruptions. Two quick outs. Here is Sean Bouchard. Swing and a miss. Swings at a nasty slurve. 0-1. He's got a double tonight. Leave a ground out and possibly a strikeout. Swing and he hits a ball hard. Right field. Going back. Take a good look. You won't see it for long. That's a boosh for Bouchard. Three nothing Rockies. A little bit of insurance. I was not over 100 miles an hour. He taunts a little bit at home plate. Once again, not a moonshot, just a wall scraper. Love me some Bouchard time. there. Good pass at the baseball. Stepping in, Vidal Bruhan. Now, Bruhan hits that pretty hard. Right and that's going to hit off the now base of the wall. The wall. Bruhan's going to stop at second base. There's his first hit of the night. Two outs here in the eighth inning. Rocky's trying to cook more. You can drop one in there between the outfielders. You know you're making the turn at first. Hey. Just an excellent swing. Do a barricade. No. Don't give me those eyes. Man in scoring position with two away. And here is right. Chris Bryant. Two down. That's for KB here. First pitch misses for ball one. Need beat to hit another dinger. Mets are up three to one. They look good. Oh my gosh. Man on second, two down. There's the strike. Go. Swear to God. Just. You can stay down here and I will pet you. The one one. 
They, is this what you have to deal with? We are so sorry for the cat interruption. Rally cats and baseball, you know, they go together. Like cheese and more cheese. Good at bat by Bryant here as he's up three balls and one strike. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. You told him to do him. Tell him to stop. Whew. Next offering is What's up, franchise? How you doing, man? I saw you got a new episode out. I need to watch it. Don't spoil it for me. And down on strikes he goes. Spoilers, I still can't hit with Chris Bryant. Damage control right there. The Rockies All right. one by John Bouchard, though, it's now gives us a little bit of insurance. Three to nothing as we go to the, the bottom of the eighth. Colorado. So they turn things over to the righty, JP Fireeye. Let's go to JP here for the eighth inning. One of the big needs that we've needed at the start of the year was to improve the back part of our bullpen. And I think, I think Fireheisen could be a piece. It's critical right here that they bear down and turn in some quality at bats. Try to chip away at that lead because if it gets... You saw his Twitch stream. I know. I, I always, I don't see your your tweets of when you go live until you're like two hours in. And I, it bugs me. I know I've been in a few times. Fire rising, right 0 2. Well, that's really the money spot down and away. If you can locate that, and <laughs> Ryan McMahon should be fired now. He's on the trade block, man. 280. He's hitting 280 off the bench, but every time he plays more than three games, he just starts to really plummet. But once again, I don't know if anyone's going to trade for him because of his contract. He's got three more years counting this season, so three years. And it's going to go up. I think he's 11.4 this season, 12.3 next season, and maybe it's 14 in his final year. Oh, my gosh. Can you stop? If you hit a button, I'm going to be upset. Get you. Can you move? Do, do you mind? You just bump the mic. You just you just bump the mic. Can you can you stop? Yeah, yeah. You want pet pets? Yeah. Can you like not do this? You're gonna you're gonna step on a key. You're going to step on a key. Well, that's our Bombay for you. This is the Bombay. Stay down here. Here, play with this. Like toys. Then. There you go. Problem solved. <laughs> right hander kicks deals. Out of way. We're back in the park. You're so daggum cute. He's so daggum cute, man. He just wants to play. <laughs> he just wants to play. And a pitch. Oh, two and two. Yeah, because he don't give a shot. <laughs> Okay. And now it's filled up. Okay. I'm so glad he's entertained. All right. Full count. The pitch. 
Fouled off again. Foul ball, he stays alive. Through the seventh? Man, you are so far ahead. Here comes a 3 2. Yeah, Ooh, ball all right, ball four. We got that call earlier. About a great back and forth, and that at bad. He had to play off some really close pitches, and somehow, like, he found a way to keep All right, there's a leadoff walk. That's not what we want to see. Right now, I couldn't have done it. Obviously, I come after him. How dare you be a good content creator? The nerve. The nerve providing entertainment. Fire high is in, uh, having some problems here. Left hand hitter waits. Oof. Center field. All right, Sanchez running in for this one. He should grab it. One down. Sanchez. Oh, God. It down for the out. Hi. Hi. You look so angry right now. So the batting order turns over. Next for Cincinnati. Don't you dare knock Rizzo over. Don't knock Rizzo over. You definitely got to push something across because it's not going to get any easier. You get to the ninth, get a lockdown. This cat's going to come in. Be the death of me. All right, anyway. Born to Puerto Rico for a week. Uh, that's so cool, man. I hope you have a great time. That's have the funnest of times. Always tough to turn two on a speedster like this. It's even harder with him coming out of the left-handed batter's box. You really need something to hit hard on the ground that they can handle to turn two quickly. Kicks and deals. Maybe O2? Where's your toy? Where's your toy? Did you knock it behind Rizzo? Where is it? I don't have it. Don't look at me. You just conked your face on the chair. That was pretty funny. And I don't know. Out there to Interfield center. Sanchez. Can't, Can't get it. Oh boy. Oh boy. Not feeling good. Not feeling good. Oh, all right, Harold Ramirez, 0 for 3. Does anyone else get nervous about making dives like that? Boy, we may have uh, messed up here. We may have messed up a little bit. Blue Ridge Rock Fest. One no. And it's ten o'clock. I cannot do extras tonight. Let's just stop the drama. JP, just stop the drama, man, and get him out. So not where I wanted that. That's gonna be, that sounds like a lot of fun. The tying run at the plate. Oh my god. Line to left. Hap makes the play. Hap gets the, the out, two down, runners stay put. Up next for Cincinnati. The catcher. Tyler Stevenson. Oh boy. Okay. First and second with two outs. And now Tyler Stevenson. Known for his 63 in power. It doesn't matter who we bring in here. We bring in DeSclafani here. Bring in DeSclafani here. Do we, do we let him face Stevenson? Oh, Slipknot's going to be there? Oh, that's so much fun. I have a phobia with like uh, a lot of Crowds. 
But I understand I have to get over that if I want to experience life a little bit. So. Numbers are not in our favor here. We don't hang something, we'll be fine. The old one. One and one. Pitches outside, ball one. Perdomo over at second. Gonzalez. Phobia of heights, yeah. I mean, a lot of people have that. I mean, that's that's normal. I think that's normal. I do too. Here comes a pitch. Out of baby, 93. He even missed that one. He swung out of the shoes, one and two. Drama mean for the foot. Found the toy again. What are you doing, man? He's going to knock Rizzo over. All right, one and two. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down the <laughs> stowaway drink. Hi. Hi. Don't give me those eyes. The two two. Wow. Swing and a miss. Big strikeout. Stevenson was looking fastball there. He swung pretty much before the ball was relieved. Big strikeout. Well done, bullpen. Well done. So we are reaching crunch time in Cincinnati. Wow, the swing was done. All right, three nothing. And welcome back. Dunn is staying out there. Got the nine one two do up. Sanchez. Sanchez one for three. Already talked about his struggles. You know, he's went from leading the team in home runs last season to near the bottom of the team in home runs right now. Because the hitting hasn't been there, even though the ratings are pretty solid. Not all-star worthy, but uh, he definitely should be doing more. Next offering is fouled back. Good take, two and two. We got the draft coming up in a few episodes. I believe it'll be two or three more episodes for the draft. Um, I don't know if you guys want a... He's going to get plunked. I don't know if you guys want that to be live-streamed or if you want that in a video form. So in now for Colorado, Jorge Mateo. Maybe expecting a bunt here. Third baseman playing in on the edge of the grass. Sanchez will take first base after the hit by pitch. Here is Mateo. And a strike in there. That was a good catch by Nemo. That misses the one. zone. And it's a ball and a strike. Riley Cat's looking at me and I don't like it. Oh. Swing and a good slurve, man. One and two. Swing Goes with a slider. Mateo strikes out. Two hits, two strikeouts, and a flyout tonight. If they get on, just the distraction that they create with all that speed over on the base pass, it could take away your focus from the next hitter. Bring in a pinch runner here. Let's have Brett Phillips. He's going to play center anyway in the ninth inning. Pinch runner slash defensive replacement. Here's Ian Happ. As he gets buzzed by Dunn. Straighten him up a little bit. One nothing. You want to live stream for it? And a pitch. Another quick pitch. Two and zero. Chris, with that distraction and a speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean this is a great ah, spot for a hitter. Ian, right field, right and that will be caught. Hendrick 
Phillips goes back to first. Two down. You're in a playful mood tonight, aren't you? Now it's the right fielder, Julio Ibarra. Ooh, that was a He's courtesy already call. Here in this All game. right, Ibarra, who's done a majority of the damage. One for four. A lot of one for four nights for him. So he's going to shoot one. India, though. Nice play. Good backflip. Backflip. Good flip. And I forgot to get my closer warming up. Now into the game, Brett Phillips. He'll be patrolling center field. Totally forgot to get my closer warming up. That's all right. Let's just bring him in. See what happens. Coming in for the save. ERA's a little high. Saving opportunities, 19 out of 24. Not too bad. Needs to do a little better. He's got a three-run lead, but he's got to face the middle of the lineup. We're going to see what we can do here against Jonathan India. The wind of the pitch. Leading off here in the ninth inning. In I'd rather base. face him with nobody on base, though. In his third season, he features a four-seam fastball. A cutter, He's got two a singles and a strikeout and tonight. Next Next offer, Beautiful 95. Strike. Previously, when he was a long reliever the fastest he would throw would be about 93 he would occasionally touch 94 now you got him throwing 95 so the velocity is going up a little bit for Tachiki as he gets India on three pitches good morning good afternoon good night senor good stuff one down here in the ninth you're looking at each other and saying He's going to be tough to get to today. Appreciate you guys coming out as always. Like I said, if you don't know who some of the regulars are here, I don't know if you have, uh, if you're watching the replay and chat replay is up. I believe I have that enabled. A lot of good, a uh, lot of very, very good, if not way better content creators are in here. State of the franchise, franchise gaming, you know, just to name a couple of them. You know, feel free to go watch them for franchise stuff. It's literally in their name. Charm franchise or Charm streams every now. Uh, well, he has been streaming a lot actually, but he probably won't for the next couple days because he is out of the country. But uh, those guys deserve all the all the respect. You know, you've got different projects going on for those guys, so. We got Steer 0 and 2 here. I really like Shinji's cutter, man, but it works so much better against lefties. Church is looking for his first win at Coors. He's never won at Coors Field. That surprises me. Here is the 1 2. A changeup, but no bite. To take a two -strike change up that just missed. I think it froze him. How many stadiums, how many ballparks has Scherzer not won at? Ooh. Swing and a pop. Popped him up. Mateo. Has a beat Mateo. Drops into the Show some love with the glove. Two down. Two down. Last chance for the Reds. Now it's the Reds DH. Cam Collier. We're gonna see what we can do here. It's Tajiki coming in cold, and he's looking pretty good. Now there's that cutter I was talking about. Very good versus lefties. Kind of subpar versus righties. That's okay. Cheeky looking now. solid, man. He's going to pop it up. Mateo gloves it. That's a Colorado win here on the road in Cincinnati. Pretty simple game. 3 nothing. Nothing too outstanding happened here. 
Had a two-run shot by Julio Abara, and then a solo shot by Sean Bouchard. And that was pretty much it, man. De La Cruz gets the well-deserved win. Eric Lauer gets the loss. Shinji notches his 20th save of the year. Got to give uh, some honorable mentions to the bullpen for getting out some tight situations. There you go. De La Cruz, five and two-thirds, four hits, struck out eight. Walked one, didn't know he struck out eight, but he did. Walked one, didn't give up a run. Like I said, Bouchard and Abara pretty much our whole offense. Mateo with two hits. Bruhan with a double. And that was a nice, simple, drama-free game. You know, on occasion, I like games like that where it's just nice and simple. But, still got plenty of work to do. Uh, I didn't look at the schedule before I went live, so I didn't. I, I'm not seeing who we're going to see in the next episode. We live tomorrow night. I'm going to head on out of here and head to bed. I want to thank everyone for being here. If you're watching here on the replay, uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Be nice to have you. You comment whatever you want down below. Chances are I'm going to respond to you. I'm going to do my best to respond to you. But uh, you guys have a fantastic Friday. Don't do anything silly. Take care of each other. Much love to you all, and go freaking Rockies!